Back in the book segment tonight, Waters World, as mentioned in the Talking Points memo, I believe Apple should obey a federal judge's order and help federal investigators get into the phone owned by a terrorist in San Bernardino who killed 14 people. Apple is defying the order, saying it is safeguarding your privacy. So we send Waters out to sample opinion in Arizona. What do you think about this Apple controversy? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I like apples. <laughs> Come on, honey, save the jokes. We're starving here. What happened in San Bernardino? I work the night shift, so I'm either sleeping during the day or working at night. I don't know. <laughs> it was the biggest domestic terrorist attack since 9-11. Oh, really? Wow. I think Apple should open up the phone secretly by themselves and then give it back. Apple needs to step up for sure and do the right thing. That's like Big Brother-ish. You think so? This is like 1984. You ever read that book? I'm educated too. I'm smart and I want respect. I don't think they should unlock the phones. I think that's one of Apple's big claims to fame. How are we going to win the war on terrorism if we can't unlock the dead terrorist phone? I'm sorry, but all questions must be submitted in writing. What do you think is motivating Apple? It could be the cost to uh, redesign the uh, back door. You think they're putting profits above patriotism? Absolutely. I think if you have nothing to hide, then what is the big deal? I don't have secrets, so they can see whatever they want. Let me see your phone. You don't have any secrets? No. Oh. How do I satisfy a man? Oh, my God. Look. How to satisfy a woman. (laughs) Can I tell you the answer? Sure. Money. (laughs) Nice ascot. Where do you stand? Do you support Apple or the federal government? I support Apple for the fact that they want to, you know, protect their customers. What about protecting the country? Oh, my God. Do we care about the privacy of a dead terrorist? No. I don't know how we're talking about invasion of privacy if you're talking about a terrorist. Everybody deserves their privacy at the end of the day. Even dead terrorists? Yeah. What? Why? If Apple doesn't cooperate with the federal government, are you still going to use Apple products? No, would never. No, uh uh-uh, absolutely not. No, if they won't keep us safe, how much money they make, they should be on our side. Now, if they don't hand over the information to the feds, you guys going to keep using Apple products? Uh, it's better than Galaxy and Samsung, so yeah. (laughs) What do you think we should do about Apple? I think we should boycott, national boycott. Apple CEO Tim Cook, why won't you help crack the phone for the feds? That is a joke. I get it. It is not funny. Ever watch the O'Reilly Factor? You're Jesse, and this is your world. I'm Waters, and this is my world right here. (laughs) I'm Brandon, and this is my crew right here. Uh Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Uh, here's Waters, and that was edited by Rob Bonico. Of course, uh, was there anyone that you talked with that had a defense of Apple other than privacy? No, I mean, I think young people care more about privacy than patriotism. Do you, did you believe the woman who said that dead terrorists have a right to privacy? Did you believe her? Is it, <laughs> or did they just panic I mean, and say anything? I think they panic and say anything. Anytime right. you challenge them, they don't really have anything underneath. Right, so they'll say anything. Yeah. Because that's what it's all about. I mean, the guy's dead. Um, if we can pick up some confederates that he was working with right. it's a before conspiracy. he killed right. these people, we have to do that. Right. And, and I, it, as I said in the talking points, this is a specific thing, not a general thing. Right. So anyway, Apple's wrong. All right.